Hop here with Classroom Composers. And in today's video lesson, we're gonna learn how to open up our horn case. We're gonna learn about the parts of the horn. We're gonna learn about the cleaning supplies that you should have in your case. We're gonna learn how to build the instrument. And then finally, we're gonna learn how to put it away and how to clean and maintain the instrument. This is gonna correspond with lessons two, three, four, and five in the pre-method book. So let's get into it. Okay, so on the floor right here, I, I, this is my horn case, and this is a hard case, meaning that it's made out of hard plastic. It's important to note that even though the horn is in the case, it's still fragile, and if you do something like drop it from somewhere high, or you aren't paying attention and it gets hit by a car, this will not protect it from like extreme damage like that. It will protect it if you're walking around and you accidentally bump into something. That will protect the horn uh, from that, but it's important that even though it's in the case, that you're still taking good care of it and you're being gentle with it. So let's go ahead and learn how to open up this case. And uh, it's important to know before you open the case which side is up and which side is down. So I'm gonna put my case flat on the floor, uh, just like this. And, you're, and the first way that I like to check is I check the latches. The latches should, you should latch them up just like that. And that's gonna tell us that the lid is on top and that the bottom of the case is on the bottom. The other way that you can check if you're having a hard time with the latches, is look for the logo, and the logo is right here, and so this logo is always going to be on the lid of the case. And the final way that you can check is when you look at the case on the side, the smaller part is usually going to be the top and the lid, and then the larger part will be the bottom part of the case. So before you open it, just make sure you have the correct direction uh, so that nothing falls out of your case. So I'm going to go ahead and unlatch it here, and I'm going to open it up, and let's talk about what should be inside. So inside here, we have the horn itself, we have the mouthpiece, we have uh, valve oil, we have rotor oil, and we have some tuning slide cream. You also might have some things in your case like a snake or like a mouthpiece brush or a polishing cloth. Make sure that you check with your teacher that you have everything in your case that you're going to need. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over our parts of the horn. And we're going to take out our horn body right here. I'm going to bring this closer to the camera so that we can see this. And so the first part that we're going to learn about is that this is called the bell. And the bell of the horn is where the sound comes out from. And uh, we call it the bell because it kind of looks like a bell if you hold it upside down. The next thing that we're going to look for is we're going to look for our valves. And the horn has three rotor valves. First valve, second valve, third valve. And some horns, if it's a double horn, are going to have a thumb trigger as well. Your horn might have a thumb trigger if it's a double horn. If it's a single horn, it will not have a thumb trigger. You're also going to have the pinky ring, which is where your pinky's going to go. And this right here is called the lead pipe, and the lead pipe is where your mouthpiece is going to go. Now, also on the horn, we have tuning slides. We have first tuning slide, which is connected to our first valve our second tuning slide, and our third tuning slide. If you have a double horn, there's gonna be a second set of tuning slides that are smaller and that are behind these tuning slides. And, and the final thing are gonna be our main tuning slides right there. These tuning slides you will learn how to use, and you're gonna use them a lot more later, uh, but for right now it's important that we just know where they're located. Okay, also we have our mouthpiece, which is in the case which is right here, and this is going to be an important thing to know too. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to build the horn and how we're going to assemble it. And this is fairly simple. You're going to take the mouthpiece out, and you're going to carefully place the mouthpiece inside the lead pipe, and you're going to give it a quarter twist to the right, and that's all that you need to do, and now the horn is assembled and ready to play. You don't need to bang on the mouthpiece or hammer it in or twist it a bunch of times. Just place, and then a simple twist, and that's playing. Okay, so now that we've built our horn, we're going to learn how to put it back in its case safely, and then we're going to learn about how to maintain it. So we're going to carefully twist the mouthpiece off. That's going to be the first thing. We're going to place our mouthpiece back in our case, and then we're going to take our horn. We're going to put the horn carefully back in the case, and the horn's only going to fit in one direction. So if, if it's not fitting correctly, then you haven't put it in the right way. So turn it around and see if you can figure it out. Latch your case back up. And now your horn is protected and safe inside of its case, and you're good to go. Okay, the final thing for this video is we're going to learn about some instrument maintenance. And we're going to start off by learning how to use valve oil. 
So there are two different types of horn valve oil. There is valve oil and there's rotor oil, and they're two different things, and you need to make sure that you are, are checking the label of the bottle before you use them because they serve different purposes. So we're gonna go over the valve oil first, and valve oil is important to use if your valves ever become stuck or sticky, as in you press them down and they stick or they stop moving. So we're gonna go over how to oil our valves first. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, and we're gonna do it for this first valve right here. Whenever you are oiling a valve, you're gonna to need to take out your valve tuning slide. So whenever you take out a valve tuning slide, it's important that you press the correct valve down. So I'm gonna take out this first one. So my first valve is down. I'm gonna carefully pull out this tuning slide just like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the horn upside down and I'm going to put a few drops of valve oil. So I'm going to put a few drops in there. And then I'm going to cap my valve oil back up. I'm going to grab my... I'm going to go ahead and wiggle the valve a few times. I'm going to grab my tuning slide. And I'm going to go ahead and press my valve. And I'm going to... Put the tuning slide back on here. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna wiggle it a few times. This looks like it's working pretty good. And now my valves have been oiled. And I'll repeat the same process with all three valves if I need to. The next one is gonna be rotor oil. And with rotor oil, this is gonna go on the outside of the valve. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lid off and you're going to apply a few drops just to the rotors themselves. And after you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and give them a wiggle and they should move a little bit easier. So there we go. Okay, and moving forward, um, what's gonna happen with your horn is as you're playing and as you're blowing air through the instrument, the air is going to get trapped inside the horn and it's going to condense. And when air condenses, it turns into liquid. In this case, it'll turn into water. And if you're ever playing your horn and you hear a gurgly sound, that means that there's water somewhere inside of your instrument and you're going to need to get that water out. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to take your horn, you're going to twist it in a counterclockwise direction, and you're going to keep going until hopefully some water comes out of the lead pipe. And you're gonna do this a few times. And if nothing happens, then it might be stuck somewhere in your tuning slides. So you can press your first slide down, you can pull this out, you can check. There was a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna put my first tuning slide back in. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with my second tuning slide. I'm gonna check. There's a little bit of water in there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my third tuning slide. And it looks like there's a little, there's no water in that one, so that's good. And now my water has been emptied. And it's important that you empty your water uh, multiple times while you're playing. And when you're done playing, you want to empty your water as well. Okay, the final thing that we're going to go over is how to lubricate and grease our tuning slides. So what you're going to do uh, is you're going to grab some of this slide cream right here. You're going to grab a little bit of it and you're going to put it on your finger and then after you've done that you're going to carefully pull out your tuning slide and we're going to do this with the main tuning slide on the back side so i'm going to pull this out and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to carefully place some of the slide grease and i'm going to spread it around i'm going to put one side and I'm going to put the other side, side in. This helps spread it around. Then I'm going to put it uh, completely back all the way, spread it around a little bit, and now I'm all set to go. So your valve oil or your rotor oil, you only do that as needed. The slide cream, you only do that as needed. These are not everyday things. The emptying the water, that's an everyday thing, and that's gonna something you're gonna to wanna to do multiple times. And it's important that you're taking good care of your instrument, you're taking it out of the case correctly and building it correctly. 
and you're maintaining it so that it'll last you a very long time.